Good morning, Gray Latro from the WCAT TV studio. I'm your host, Ben Hamity. The forensic team will be hosting a student congress and festival on Wednesday, December 8th, from 4 until 6. The bills will be debated in the congress are posted in classroom, or stop by Dr. Bomb's room to get copies. Please RSVP no later than today if you are planned to attend. There will be also be after-school practice from 3 to 4 today to discuss and prepare for the events. The team is open to new members, so see Dr. Bump if interested in speech and debate. Mu Alpha Theta will be collecting birthday party supplies for Beverly's Birthday, an organization that throws birthday parties for underprivileged children. Supplies will be collected now through December 17th in all Set 1 classes. If you do not have a Set 1 class but you would like to participate, please see Mrs. Doyle in room C212 or Chloe Templeton or Piper Party for information on how to participate. We go to Abby Williams for the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. For today's forecast, we will see a high of 50 and a low of 29 with an 80% chance of rain. On Tuesday, we will have a high of 38 and a low of 27 with cloudy skies. And lastly, on Wednesday, we will have a high of 40 degrees and a low of 31 with a 40% chance of snow. That's all for weather. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Abby. We will be back after these messages. The Student Lighthouse team at Greater Lake Trobe Senior High School will work collaboratively to discuss and recommend solutions for concerns at our school. We are looking for students who are proactive, goal-oriented, empathetic, and collaborative problem solvers, demonstrate good judgment and decision-making skills, and have a desire to make our high school an even better place to learn. We will select 10 to 15 student applicants to represent the entire student body. The Student Lighthouse team's first responsibility will be to attend a training on Friday, February 18th from 8 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. alongside our staff Lighthouse team. Students who are interested should pick up an application in the main office and return it to by Friday, December 17th. Additional questions can be directed to Mrs. Pellegrino. Exploring Hispanic Foods class will be selling some traditional Spanish cookies. Stop by the table in the Commons from the 8th and the 20th of December. The class will be selling them for $1 each during all of Lunch and Learn. The cookies being sold will include Spanish parvalones, Brazilian fudge chocolate truffles, alfajores, caramel sandwiches, cookies, marlonican spiral pastries, coconut macaroons and dulce de leche and chocolate, and Puerto Rican coconut kisses. Cookies will also be sold in the Cat's Cafe during the first set of the day. Come by and enjoy some delicious cookies. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Adina Peru with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? It's Monday, December 6th, and cooking up in the main line, we have the spicy chicken sandwich with a side of french fries and green beans. The sandwich options for today are the hamburger, cheeseburger, or a chicken patty. The pizza options for today are the cheese and pepperoni Big Daddy pizza. In the grab and go bar, we have fresh salads, deli hoagies, and green beans. The soup of the day is chicken dumpling. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Adina. Anyone interested in being a part of the One Act Play competition should attend a meeting in Dr. Bomb's room, H104, during Wildcat time on Wednesday, December 8th. Discussion will be about the play choice, guidelines, and auditions. Please see here with any questions. This is Computer Science Education Week, and we will be highlighting the computer science courses available here at our high school. Today, we take a look at CS1A Introduction to Programming course. The Introduction to Programming course uses interactive lessons and exercises to teach programming in the Python language, like these created by our students. We now go to Richard Hillwig for the Wildcats Sports Report. Thanks, Ben. 
Today in Wildcat Sports, the hockey team hosts Mars at 715 at Kirk Nevin Arena. That's all for Wildcat Sports. Now let's send it over to Luke Hamity for National Sports. Thanks, Richard. In National Sports News, there will be six NHL games being showcased across the league. For your pens, they will conclude their five-game Northwestern away trip by facing the Seattle Kraken at 10 p.m. Week 13 of the NFL football will conclude tonight for the battle of the top spot in the AFC East. Mac Jones and the Patriots will head to Highmark Stadium to battle against the 7-4 Buffalo Bills at 8.15 p.m. The Patriots are red-hot, carrying a six-game win streak coming into this matchup. For the Bills, Josh Allen and the team are coming off a huge win against the New Orleans Saints on Thanksgiving night. Currently, the Bills are favored by 2.5 points to the Patriots. To tune into this game, you could tune into ESPN, ESPN2, or the Yahoo Sports app. Lastly, for the NBA, you can tune into 10 games throughout the evening. Most notably, the Philadelphia 76ers will head to Charlotte to battle the Hornets at 7 p.m. That's all for sports. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Luke. Arnold Palmer Regional Airport and Spirit Airlines would like to team up with positive, enthusiastic individuals that are looking for a career in airline industry. They will be offering a one-year paid internship position for high school seniors that are 18 years old. Positions available include guest service agents and ramp service agents. For more information, please contact Mrs. Yetter. Now, here is Harley Cochran with the Wildcat World News. Good morning, Wildcats. In world news, Honduras has elected its first female president, Ziamaro Castro. On Monday, Twitter announced that CEO Jack Dorsey will be stepping down and former CTO Parag Agrawal will be taking his place. And finally, a powerful storm has hit Istanbul and parts of Turkey, causing at least four deaths. That's all for world news. Now here's Lexis Noel with community news. Thanks, Harley. In community news, Arnold Palmer Regional Airport will host a dedication ceremony for Don Rossi Airport Memorial Park at the Unity Township facility at 11 a.m. on Tuesday, December 7th. The area that will be named after Rossi is in front of the airport's terminal building. That's all for community news. Thanks and back to you in the studio. Thanks for tuning into this edition of WCAT TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe.